Hey, 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 guys, this is Hot Guy, and I am back with Russian Fishing 4. And, guys, I have finally made it to Old Berg, Old Berg Lake. Let me see, yep. And I have to, I definitely have to give credit where credit is due. I have to thank a good friend of mine who has been very nice about contributing a number of things. Jorgen von Peyten, he was able to provide me with all of this ready-made ground bait for catching bream, and he provided me with all this other stuff, this cottage cheese, garlic dough, pea porridge, pea barley, some feeders, and some of these big hooks. These hooks were a godsend at the winding rivulet. I was able to pull in some massive, massive bream. I didn't get a chance to record it because I was trying to get to this lake, guys. I've been trying to get to this lake for a while, and I figured once I got here, we can try out some of the gear here, as a matter of fact. So let me show you, though, real quick if I can find my statistics here. Well, I got a really large Crucian carp at 1.182 kilograms some reason his pic there he goes I was going to say some reason his picture's not coming up got him off of the cottage cheese dough let me show you another one that I got oh here it is check this check the size on this now, this is not even considered to be a trophy but 3.334 kilograms 3750 XP that almost got me all the way up to where I needed to be to go to Oberg. That is a big, big fish. I think he brought me like 13 silver or something like that. It was a, it was quite a bit. Really, really felt good about that. That I want to take thank him very so very much. Was it? Make sure I have this right. Jorgen von Peyten. I hope I pronounced that right. The J is not J. It's Y. Right. I hope so. Anyway, I want to thank you very much for giving me that gear. That really was a godsend. That got me where I needed to be. And looks like the sun is coming out because when I was here earlier it was cloudy. And it's been a while since I've been to Oldberg. I went ahead and got a map. And it's been so long since I've been here. I don't remember. Yeah, you can get this draft kvass here i think it's just a drink i don't think you can really do much with it other than you know cure, cure what ills you cure what ills you cure what ails you but it's not alcohol that's the hardware store okay let's see grocery store don't really need to go there yet either okay here's the fish market I think the graphics look better to me. I, it's Like I said, it's been a while, though, since I've been here. Very rustic-looking place. Now, what is this over here? Okay, this is a cafe. Let's see what they've got as far as orders go. Sometime today, maybe. Wow. <laughs> okay, gee whiz. That took a while. Okay, well, it looks like they've got an order for a common roach. We already know how to pull that off. They got an order for tench. Now, with the common roach, they got to be fairly good size, but we got to get five pieces of them. Uh, the bleak, five pieces. Mass from 20 grams. That's pretty easy. That could get us 19 silver right there. Uh, burbot. We have not fished for burbot yet, but that might change in this situation. 
Uh, Crucian Carp, seven pieces. 350. I, I guess you get a lot of Crucian Carp in this particular lake. I don't remember. It's been a long time. Eight pieces for Perch. Bream, three pieces. Kilo, one kilogram or bigger. Chub, four kilograms. You can get 88 silver. Pike, three kilograms. 103.94. And that's right, this is the first place that has grass carp. If you can get a 28 kilogram grass carp, <laughs> that's a monster. That's a huge fish. We don't have the gear for that, but that would be 375 silver for him if we could get it. Yeah, like that's going to happen. Anyway, we're going to head over here and see what we can do. Now, let me take a look at the map here. I'm trying to remember what is what. It's been so long since I've been here. Yeah, there's. I remember there was a deep spot here and a deep spot here. That was a real good burbot location. And there's this bridge here. I remember this little bridge here, too. Yeah, there's a few deep spots, but they're not, none of them are really that deep except for this one right here. That's just kind of a strange, kind of a strange out of the way place to have a hole. <laughs> and there's one over here. It's pretty deep. I believe there's some kind of a campground over here too. Might be worth investigating. It's been a while, like I said, since I've been here. I don't know what they've changed or if they've changed anything, but. I do know that there was a good place to catch all kinds of carp. It was over here. I also like fishing off this bridge. This was a real good spot to fish from. I'll tell you what. Let's go see what this. It's the, I want to see what's at the bridge. Been a while since I've been here. Like I said, might as well check it out. Do a little hiking. See if anything strikes my memory here. Let's see, yeah, I do remember that. Okay, they haven't really changed this all that much. Seems like there's a little more detail, but okay, I don't know if I remember that dock. No, I do not remember that dock. What's out there? Oh, so you could actually cast right there with this kind of. Gives you a good casting point for the hole. Nice. That is new. I don't remember this. Love it. Love it. Okay, good. I like enhancements and additions. And for the most part, it looks the same. And I still remember that little island and fishing off of here for burbot. So that... The map doesn't look any different, but... Little side items seem to be added. Okay, let's get all the way up here. This is a long walk, though. Big lake. Big, big lake. Not as big as some of the others later on, but pretty decent sized. Okay. Do I remember? Is that the. Yeah, it is. Okay, this is. This is. This is the spot. This is it. Looks a little more built up than I remember. I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> Just didn't remember to have, have the, this much detail. Yeah, the campground's right across the way. I think you can see the tent over there. I don't know if we can zoom in, but... Well, I don't think I see a tent. I just see a campground. Okay. Well, I tell you what, guys. Well, let's camp out here and see what we can do. All right, what gear do I have going on this? Okay, I've got. I think I still have everything set up for catching bream. Yep, I still have classic feed mix. I still have the feeders. Still have the fluorocarbon leaders. Size CL15S1, which is a large one. Natural pea porridge. 
you know, we could just give it a try and see what it does, guys. Honestly. Okay. I think I would try it on this side, though. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just see what it does. Let's just see what it does. If it doesn't do anything, it doesn't do anything. Wait a minute, I've got the clip on, don't I? Yeah, I do. What? I got a snag? Uh, I guess I did. Yeah, how do I take the clip off? That's the question. F1. Cut the line. Don't want to do that. Line clip. Plus control number one. Okay, I got it. Control plus. Okay, it's off. Just got the three, don't I? Yep. So we got three feeders out. Supposedly there's bream here, but it is sunny now, so things may have changed. I can't get more than three rods out here. I've been fishing. Russia, I mean, Fishing Planet, I've been getting too used to doing five rods. <coughs> Things seem to be a little bit quiet here. May have to go back to the small hooks. Alright, guys. Nothing seems to be biting at the moment. I think I am going to switch a few things around. Let's just see what we can do here. Let me go ahead and grab this rod. Sunny weather's never good for bream. I think what I'm going to do I think I'm going to grab a small hook, go back to the old happy hook. I don't know if I'm going to do feeder or not. It says classic feed mix, so it may not hurt anything. Yeah, let's just keep it for now. Let's go with a maggot. Alright, we're getting a bite. Let's try this right over here. Which one's biting? It's this one. Okay, he is biting. There we go. This is off a of maggot. Ooh, there's a tench. Haven't gotten too many of those so far. Yeah, I believe those are usually good with cheese. But I need to take that friction break down just a tad. Let's keep it. Let's keep what we have for now.
I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. I still have the same setup that the, it had before. Yeah, this is a little bit heavier of a rod, so I'm going to... Eh, I'll tell you what. I think I'm going to put that one away. I'm going to leave these two... Had a little bit of activity for a minute, but then it kind of quit. Okay, that's not quitting. I was going to say, that fish is on there. But he's not very big. I think it's a roach. No, it's Crucian. Crucian carp. Little bitty fella, though. Hmm. Well, let me take a look here. Something. Now, what have I got on here? This float rod. Let's see. I still have the happy hook. Still have the maggot. Still set to 23 inches. I just wonder if we can still do bleak here. I mean, if we can do bleak at all. I don't know. This isn't water that has flowing water so doesn't move there we go now we're talking I think we might have found our quarry yes Wow, 444 XP? Not bad. It's a decent bleak. Okay, we've got something on there for sure. I found the bleak. We can keep. That spot in mind. Yeah, I've just been getting a little bit of, you know, pecking. Nothing seeming to really go for the. Okay, there we go. Got something interested in this now. This is a different fish. See how it's pecking at it? The beak, they just drag it under. Okay, this is going to have to be cautious. We're going to have to really be careful there that we don't want to lose it. Nice roach. Yeah, I found them. I found them. At least over here it did. I'm sure there's some other spots we can get them. These are always really good to get our XP going. and Sometimes you can complete missions. Or orders, I should say. Not really missions. I think we got us another roach. It's not a bleak. Ooh, there we go. A little Crucian carp. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me put this away for the moment. I'm going to go ahead and pull this in. We're not getting a we're getting some bites, but I don't think this is our bream spot. I think we might be better off to take the... I don't know. I'm trying to decide whether I should take the feeder bait off or leave it on. Don't really know just yet. I 
mean, it really can hurt to keep it on there. I think I'm going to go ahead and put P pour. Well, let's just go with wet bread for now. Now, I do remember there being a lot of crucian carp and gibble carp here and so I didn't even realize that that was that slack <laughs> holy crap let me see if there's something on it oh I'm sorry I was thinking it was a bottom rod it's not let's put the other Sorrento on there Wait a minute. Let's bring out the comfort. Let's see, what have I got on there? Oh, I got a big hook on there. Let's switch the hook to a 24. Could always put pearl. Well, let's go with garlic dough. Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's go with corn. Let's see if anything bites off the corn. Maybe we might get something big. You never know. I do want to try our float rod over here. I just want to see if there's any bleak or anything on this side of things. Oh wow, we are getting plenty of action already on both of them. Oh boy. Well, let's see what this one does. Ah, shoot. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and put that away while we're... Let's see what this guy is. I think... Is this wet bread or garlic? I guess it doesn't matter all that much. <laughs> Let me see here. What was that? Okay, wet bread. All right. So we're getting Crucian Carp. I think there is a mission, but we got to get like eight of them or something like that. It's a ridiculous amount. Holy crap. I think I got a bite. No. I did, but he didn't latch on. Let's try it again. Eh. Good enough. I don't care. It doesn't matter if it's close or not close. I think it's going to do fine either way. Let's see if we can't... Well. I meant to go out further than that, but there might be something there. Who knows? A lot of fish like to hang around docks. Yep, sure enough. I think we got us a little bleak. And he only has to be 20 grams if I remember correctly. Well, shoot. Why can't I get that out there? There we go, that's better. Okay, so there's bleak all over the place. That's good. You can always depend on getting some XP from bleak fishing. Plus the roach go for it too. Okay, that is... N that I think is a carp. See how it pops up sometimes? Yeah, they they tend to do that. It's, it's kind of a weird behavior of theirs. And usually once they do, yep, I told you. Crucian Carp. They pop it up. It's, it's strange. <laughs> ah, damn it. Sorry. Actually, that might improve our 
fishing, to be honest. Yep, we're going to start getting activity now. Okay, we're going to put this one down for a second. And pick this one up. This is wet bread again. Another crucian carp. We might get an order here, guys. First day, we might get us an order. Um, yeah. I was going to say, where is another bleak? It's like I couldn't even see the darn bobber anymore. The bleak are always good. Things are looking bleak. <laughs> That's pretty poor. Let's see, did I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Hold on just a second. Now, this was corn. Not seeming to get any bites off of it, but I tell you what, I am going to switch this. I think I am going to go ahead and put a caster on it. Since the weather changed, yeah, let's try a caster. Ooh, now it's raining. There we go. Yeah, we're definitely getting the Crucian Carp here. Yeah, I was right about the little carps. I do remember getting them quite, quite a lot here. The bleak fishing has dropped off a little bit. Make sure he has it. That's a check mark, Crucian Carb. Yeah, it's fast approaching night here, guys. We're going to start seeing. It's going to start getting dark. snag here. It's not a fish. Yeah, I think I'm going to go look for some structure here, guys, because I know what we were catching. Bream and Bream are really going to bite in this rainy weather at night. Ooh, I had a roughie and I didn't even know it. Or rough. I think it said rough is what the actual name is. A little rough. Things are getting a little rough. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, let's look for some cover here. And see if we can't come up with something that's a little bit more bream-like territory. Especially at night. Yep, that path is still there. I'm looking for some some submerged logs. Yeah, I don't remember there being a bridge there. I really don't. Was there a bridge there? I only thought there was the one that I just crossed. No, I don't believe there was a bridge here before. I'm almost certain there was not one. No, there was not. This is new. This is new. A 
let me see here, guys. I'm not seeing what I'm... I know what I'm looking for. Since I'm getting over to this hole, I might even try to see if I can't have a little luck with some burbot. Oh, cool. They've actually got a, a little walkway. Perfect. Very nice. And is right where it needs to be. This is the direction I want to look towards. Hard to see, though. Okay. Let's see, is it four? Is that the... Yeah, that's the comfort. Okay, we're going to take this off. pieces of fish. We're going to see if we can't get us a burbot. God, it is dark. To make sure I'm casting up. The rig is not assembled. Oh, I need a sinker. I forgot. Let's put a 60 on there. There we go. New achievement, wide sweep, personal what? Uh, couldn't see that because that thing was popped up. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what we do with that. Don't know that we'll get any bites, but definitely worth a try. Now the bream should be coming in. That's kind of what I'm hoping for here. Might try around those. These are not exactly the cover that I was hoping for, but Let's see, we've got, actually we've got pretty good stuff here. Let's see here. Okay, let's up the hook a little bit. Yeah, let's go with cottage cheese this time. Let's try right there next to that stump. Right there. Ah. I'm going to try one there. And we're going to switch the bait on this one too. And the hook's fine. Let's go with pea porridge. Pea porridge hot, pea porridge cold. We'll try right underneath that tree. Gee, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> Uh, the 
is going to be a hard one to place. There we go. All right. Okay, we've got rods with different stuff in each one. Like I said, the bream tend to come in at night to feed. So I'm kind of hoping that's what they do. Now, if it's daytime, I'm going to try throwing it out of that hole. See if we can't get one that way. All right, guys, we are finally getting a bite off this fish. I'm just keeping an eye on it, but something's definitely going for it. Yeah, I did move my other rods too. But we do have something. Here we go. This may be our first burbot. Took a little while. But I think we're going to have it pay off. Yeah, my comfort's real low, so it's not going to be easy to get him in, but he's not huge, but I don't care. I, I think it's going to be cool to get our first bourbon. Let's see what we got here, guys. I believe that's what we have. Yep. There he goes. Not bad. 978 XP. 2.201 kilograms. That's a decent sized burbot, and he's a check mark. I will take him any day of the week. Why do they always look like they have a smile? <laughs> like, hmm. Okay. Very cool. Our first burbot. And nothing has really been that serious on the other two. I've. Got a couple of nibbles, but nothing really seemed to want to take it. Am I still pointing in the right direction? Yeah, I'm still pointed there. Now see that right there? That's a little island. I wish you could get a boat to go out to that island. But there are no boats, I don't think, in uh, Old Berg. Not that I'm aware of, anyway. Yeah, I don't know if the bleak are going to bite out here or not. Uh-oh, there we go. Come on. There you go. Come on. Speak to me. Come on. You know you want to. Yeah, he's definitely on that. Now that's pea porridge I'm using here. Yeah, they didn't bite until the morning came, so they must have come into shore somewhere. But now they're going out in the deeper water, because now I'm getting a bite off of... Oh, I'm getting another burbot. Oh, crap. Okay. Let's get this fish in because we've got us a fish on the other one. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's definitely a bream. Decent bream, 678, 6 grams, but let's see what we got on this one. This is. Oh boy, there we go. Nice, 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 nice. This one might be bigger than the other one was. It's probably the last we're going to get, too, because the sun is now out. So I have found the burbot spot. That'll make it a little easier on myself to pick him up. Come on. Come on, big fella. There we go. 2.265. He's about the same, but still another check mark. 
I am so pleased. Decent, decent burbot. Mm. Cool. I can't remember if there's Wells catfish in here or not. I don't remember if they are. I'll have to check on that, but let's go see what they're worth, guys. that away and we are going to head on over it's too bad we couldn't figure out a way to jump into the lake because if we could do that then we'd get there a little faster <laughs> yeah if you can fall in it's usually you can find sometimes find glitches and if you can fall in you will pop back in in the very beginning so nah it's not gonna let me do it actually Might be stuck here. Hold on. Oh boy. I am seriously stuck. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh boy. I am stuck. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to do something I shouldn't have tried. Let's see. Alright, guys. One thing you can always count on is if you get stuck like that, just quit out of the game, come back in, and you will be freed up. So I am going to check to see if we got enough stuff for the cafe orders. I don't think we do, honestly. And I'm sure there isn't anything for Burbot. Wait a minute, there is. Both of these fit the category. Well, we oh, I'm going to sell the smaller of the two. And we're going to get 23.27 silver. Not bad. Okay, we need two more of our bleak to get that one. None of the Crucian Carp we caught count. We only have one common roach to count, so we need five. Yeah, and we need to figure out where the bream are. That's all I know. <laughs> we definitely need to figure figure out where they are. Well, we did find one. But I think that's all we were able to get, guys. Yeah, the tench didn't count either. But we can see what kind of cash we got at the market for that other burbot. Let's see. 7.67. That's not bad. 5.07 for that bleak. Holy crap. That's really good. <laughs> well, I tell you what, let's go ahead and sell the tench. Uh, there weren't any missions for common roach, I don't believe. Well, let's just uh, let's sell the let's sell the bream. We'll sell the burbot. Um, I just need. Two more bleak, I think it is, to be able to get that next order. And I think I'm going to... I don't know. I'm probably going to end up having to leave. So I'm probably going to have to... Probably going to have to try that again another day. Let's just go ahead and sell them all. That'll get us another 10 silver. That takes us up to almost 200 silver. So we were able to complete one of the burbot missions. That's not bad. And we got two decent burbots. That was really good, guys. Really good. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Russian Fishing 4. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.